Hey guys, and welcome back to the photo log. As you may have guessed from the title of this video, I recently picked up a new camera, which is the Pentax 6.7. Unfortunately, because of that, I'm gonna be saying goodbye to one of my other cameras. So I actually decided to sell my Mamiya 645. Gotcha. This is the guy I decided to pick up. The reason I went for the 6.7 over the 6.7.2 was one, the cost. 672s are quite a bit more expensive than this one and two there's a lot of electronics in the 672 if you're unlucky that can be quite costly if something goes wrong with your 672 it can be a bit tricky to get it repaired so this one is much more mechanical i picked up one with a grip that came on the side here i didn't really go for the one on the left the big grip i decided to go for this one i'm not sure where this grip comes from but i do really like this grip i feel like i can hold it you know like this I shouldn't do but seriously it's, it's a good one for gripping it's been really really easy to carry around so far I've taken this on a couple of test shoots which I'm going to talk about today and I've also taken it away on a trip which will be coming up in the next video so far I am really pleased with this camera the portability compared to what I'm used to is amazing so before I get started and show you some of my shots that I've taken on this so far I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an explanation as to why I decided to sell the Mamiya. So I originally bought the 645 as basically a smaller version of the RZ67. What I wanted to do with it is have something that I could carry around with me that was much more portable, but also felt like the Mamiya RZ67 and worked in the same way and to an extent gave me similar results. For me personally, I don't find that I had much of a use for the Mamiya 645. It is still a weird shaped camera to carry around with you, unless you get all the grips and stuff, which are then gonna bulk it up anyway. It is still a little bit awkward. It's not like carrying a 35 mil around. So I was finding that if I wasn't taking my RZ67 with me, I was always gonna be taking a 35 millimeter on my point and shoots. I wasn't gonna be taking medium format. So the reason I actually started looking into the Pentax 67 was to see if it was something that I could carry around with me much more regularly and still get the type of portraits I like but also be able to travel a bit with it go places that I normally wouldn't want to take the Mamiya and so far it's been great for that so to kick things off with this camera I thought I would show you some images from a test shoot I did a couple of weeks ago with a model called Laura from Germany So by the time we met up with each other and had a quick chat and actually got around to shooting, it was a little bit too dark. And I think the whole first roll, I had to underexpose it. Just because the 2.8 lens and the portrait 400 I was using was actually not bright enough. And I really quickly ran out of light. Although I do feel like I've managed to sort of take these scans and they are still usable. was over two days so the next time we met up it was actually raining so we decided to shoot inside instead the light was good enough for that so the lighting setup I kind of have going on here on this pink backdrop is almost completely natural light so there's three big windows sort of around me almost like a kind of a big soft box or like a big parabolic light. I've done this a few times and I've always got good results so that it seems to work really nicely Thank you. 
for a test shoot, this sort of thing is perfect. It's kind of like, it's good for models. It's good for photographers to kind of like practice a bit of lighting, a bit of natural light, adding a bit of artificial light as well. And these are the sort of shots which models and agencies really like this sort of stuff because it's kind of simple. There's no distracting background, stuff like that. I wasn't actually gonna shoot any color film on the pink background. I've kind of done it before and I'm kind of over the pink, but I put a roll of Portrait 400 in and I decided to do maybe half a roll on the pink. And actually they came out as some of my favorite shots from the whole shoot. I really liked the sort of boldness of the color. I was kind of surprised by this lens and this camera. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I liked the RZ. The lens I have on it is the 90 mil. So it's a little bit wider than what I'm used to on the RZ, which is 110. But actually, I think it's really nice for these sort of like medium distance portraits. Basically what I was trying to do in this session was to kind of try lots of different types of lighting and try and get as many different results, try and push the limits of what I could do with this camera. So overall, my first experience with the Pentax 6.7 has been really positive. I think the ability to move around, even inside a sort of studio environment, the ability to shoot at eye level through the prism, as well as the portability of the camera in general compared to the Mamiya, it allowed me to move around a lot quicker. At this stage, I'm not gonna say that I prefer the Pentax over the Mamiya at all, because I don't think that's true. If you watch videos on these cameras, you're probably gonna hear the same sort of thing. They're kind of good for different things. I still love the RZ67. It's the camera that got me into medium format, and I don't think I'm ever gonna really give up shooting with that camera for that reason. But this Pentax has just changed the game a little bit for me. It's gonna make me wanna move out of the studio a bit more, maybe when spring comes around, do test shoots, meet people. It's gonna make me wanna go out and explore a little bit more, which I'm excited about. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe for more videos in the future. And if you'd like to check us out on Instagram, you can find our links in the description below. There's my Instagram, there's Tom's Instagram, and there's the Radical Eyes Instagram. So thanks very much, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.